Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. Let's add a couple more dependencies here. So the first one will be the block hound, the version 103 release. And at this moment, I'm assuming that you have been to our previous trainings. So just go to davidojo.academy if you have not, and make sure that you watch Spring Boot 2 Essentials and Project Reactor Essentials. So I'm assuming that you have been to these trainings before. That's why I'm going pretty straightforward here in this one. So we have a block hound, and now we are going to set up the database. Basically, we are using this R2 DDBC, so the reactive connectivity for databases, uh, relational databases. And there are a couple drivers supported by Spring. So you can come here to r2dbc.io. You will see all the drivers uh, available. I'm going to use r2dbc Postgres. So for that, I will just add another dependency here. The artifact ID will be io. Now the group ID will be io.rdbc and the artifact ID will be r2dbc Postgres SQL. Uh, so the version, the latest version at the moment I'm recording this uh, video, I can check here. It's a uh, 0.8.2 release. So I'll just add it here, 0.8.2 release, and then I will extract this one to the properties. And now I will create a simple docker-compose file. So I will run my Postgres server inside a Docker container. You can install them uh, manually if you want. So pretty simple here, version 3.1. And then yeah, here services, db, image, Postgres, environment, We add the user. And then we add a password. Pretty simple. Then we forward some ports. The default port is 5432. 5432. Actually, this is the wrong syntax. Should be like this. And then we can create the, the volumes here. Let's create one pretty simple. Let's call this Webflux data. And let's map it to var lib post create SQL data. This one should be right here. And then just copy this Webflux data. And you add here volumes Webflux data. Okay, let's test, see if it's working. Docker Compose up at the root level. Okay, looks like uh, it's working. Let's make sure that we can connect to this using IntelliJ, what is Postgre, user root, password root, test connection. Okay, the connection is working, apply, okay. We can see here some databases, some schemas, and this is what we were trying to achieve in this video. So to finish, just make sure that you either click here or use uh, Command Shift I if you're on Mac or on Windows, this one. And that's it for this video. So let's continue in the next one. See you there, bye.